I grew up a bear cat. I remember going to games with my dad, loving being around campus. Always really had my sights set on UC. So when I started on campus, I quickly got involved. Uh, I joined a fraternity. I got involved with student government, just trying to take advantage of everything that uh, UC offered. And at 21 years old, I thought I was on top of the world. I was airlifted to the hospital and deemed paralyzed below the shoulders and really didn't know whether or not I would live or not. I thought, you know what, next fall, I'm gonna be walking on campus and I'm gonna work at this. I'm gonna give it my all and to fight the odds. Maybe, maybe Jesus will heal me as if he was some genie I could turn to. And um, it was in that season where really, really when God met me where I was and I um, really started a spiritual journey. And so in the process of asking God to heal me all the time and wanting my body back, I really began to seek the, the healer and not just the healing. All of a sudden, the, the accolades and the motivation that I was seeking after before was, was no longer the priority in my life and uh, my relationship with Jesus was and quickly realized that God opened doors for me that um, I didn't have before. I was so dependent on other people throughout my day-to-day -day life. It was, it was rewarding to be able to give back and um, pour into the lives of these teenage guys who I saw myself as just a few years back in high school. It's been really cool to see these guys grow. Obviously, I hope to see, see quite a few of them become Bearcats one day as well. A couple of years ago, I launched flatonmyback.com. I, I found that through opening up, it was good for me, but it also opened up doors to open up with others and connect with others that dealt with trials of their own. And our time here on earth is is limited and I, re I really want to make make the most of it. And, and while I believe that I will have the chance to, to walk again. Um, that's not, that's no longer my focus. We ended up going on our first date in um, December of 2012. And I knew pretty early on this is the the girl I wanted to marry, and we, we got engaged this summer, and we are looking forward to getting married next year. So I'm really excited about graduation coming up. It's been a journey, but pretty soon I will officially be a graduate of University of Cincinnati, and it's, it's great to finish what I started.